I bet you didn't wake up and say, man, I just want to watch the most complicated video on YouTube today. But here you are, because today we're talking about the four cable method with the Line 6 Pod HD 500X. Okay, so the four cable method isn't really that bad once you get the hang of it. And so in this video, I'm gonna do my best to walk you through, guide you through all the steps. Now, you are gonna need a pod, you're gonna need four cables, and you're gonna need a guitar amp that has an effects loop. You're gonna plug your guitar into the pod just like normal, but instead of going from the output of the pod to the input of your guitar amp, you're gonna go output from the pod to the effects loop return on the guitar amp. Then you're gonna take the effects send from the pod and plug that into the input of your guitar amp. And then you're gonna take the effects loop send from the guitar amp and you're gonna plug that to the effects loop return on the 500X. Then on our pod, we're gonna to need to add in the effects loop block. Now this can go anywhere in the signal chain, but for this example, let's put it just before the amp block. The way that this works is our guitar signal goes from our guitar to the pod. It passes through any of the effects that are before our effects loop block. Then our signal is sent to the front of the amp goes through the amp's preamp, and then it's immediately sent back to the pod. Our signal passes through any remaining effects that come after the effects loop block, and then our signal is then sent to the power amp of the amplifier, and then sent through the speaker. So essentially what we've done is we have a direct line from the pod to the power amp of our amplifier. In effect, our amplifier has become like a powered speaker and we've isolated the preamp of the amplifier and we've inserted it into our signal chain as like an, as an effect block. So what's really great about this method is that we can put some of our effects in front of the preamp and then some of our effects can then come after the preamp. We can even take things a step further by adding in one of the preamp models from the 500X to our signal chain and we can toggle between the preamp model and the actual amp preamp and now we have two channels that we can play with. So to do that, disable the effects loop block and then select the amp block on your 500X and scroll until you get to the preamp models. Because we're using the power amp in our amplifier, we don't wanna use the normal amp models on the 500X, we just wanna use the preamp. Select the preamp that you want and then we're gonna assign both the effects loop block and the amp block to the same foot switch. Just make sure that one block is on and the other block is off. That way when you press the foot switch, it's gonna toggle between those two effect blocks. So with the four cable method, you're able to decide which effects come before your preamp and which come after the preamp. And you're even able to use one of the built-in preamp models on the 500X to add in an additional amp channel. So if you're using your pod with a guitar amplifier, I think this is probably the best way to run your pod. The downside is that you're gonna have to like custom make all of your presets to have that effects loop block in it. And then you're also gonna wanna make sure that you're using the shortest guitar cables that you can get away with. Because with the four cable method, there's a lot of cable that your guitar signal has to pass through, and there's a lot of resistance that it's gonna have to fight through. And so you can end up with a little of that like tone roll off. Okay guys, there you go. That's the four cable method for the Line 6 Pod HD 500X. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Later.